So it's been 10 years since I've owned the Louis Vuitton Neverfull. Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching. My name is Yadira. Today I want to talk about the Louis Vuitton Neverfull and the 10 years that I've owned it and what that has been like. If you are new, welcome. I hope you'll decide to subscribe before the end. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. I do have the Neverfull in the Damir Ebin canvas in the MM size or the medium size. I got this bag back in February of 2013. The bag does say it was made in the 45th week of 2012. I got this as a dating anniversary gift from my now husband back in 2013 it was actually like february 20 something so just a little bit before our actual anniversary date and we were just a few days shy from actually having been 10 years of owning this however the bag itself is already past the 10 years you know a few days shy from the actual 10 year mark is not too bad because i still have had this bag for just the entire time this bag has been amazing um of course it's still under my ownership so i do love it and i do enjoy the handbag so i'm not gonna go into the pros and cons or talk about this handbag in that particular structure so the louis vuitton neverfull actually debuted in 2007 i can fairly say that it's a classic to the fashion house and quite honestly i am very happy with the fact that louis vuitton still continues to carry the neverfull within their range another tote style handbag that was pretty popular along with the neverfull at the time was the totally they had it in the pm the mm and in the gm version they discontinued that since and this bag still is around so that really does say a lot about the actual Neverfull itself I know a lot of people would rather go with like a Goyard or like a Gucci tote or something else just to stay away from the Louis Vuitton Neverfull because it is a popular handbag or at least it once was more popular I do feel like it's probably dying down but at the same time this is a fantastic bag and if you're eyeing it I would say get it but my experience with having this bag for 10 years has been great overall and it's a bag that I have purchased one more time in its range and I want to have a third as well. The tote style is a pretty universal style that you can use for anything. A lot of people do like the Damir Ebin style just because it's very carefree and yes that is true but it still does have its cons. At the time that I got this Neverfull I was actually going in for the Neverfull in the PM size and I had gone to the main store and they said they did not have it in the PM size but a Neiman Marcus LV store did. So we went over to the Neiman Marcus LV, which is where we ended up purchasing this one from. And she did pull out the PM size and it looks so tiny because you know, they're folded like flat. They're kind of folded like this whenever they take them out of their drawers. And I thought it was like so tiny and it, it just looked very compact. It was about the size of an eight by 10 standard size paper. So if you do want to have it to put in a folder, a folder does fit in there. It, it will probably peek out just a little bit, but it does fit. Back then, they did do price increases and actually I had just gotten this just after they did the price increase so around that time is whenever I learned that pretty much the week after Valentine's is whenever their handbags see the price increases I mean and I kind of sort of knew that at the time but I still went in the week after Valentine's to get this bag my now husband actually got this bag for $940 plus tax right before the price increase I want to say the price was $860 or $870 around that at the time i wanted the pm size which was 900 dollars and my boyfriend he was just like well for 40 dollars more why don't you just get the big one like it's going to be more spacious and you can use it for more things not just you know your everyday essentials for everyday life and this bag is significantly bigger than the never fall in the pm size so he was just like it's just better to get this bag especially if it's the only louis vuitton bag you're ever gonna get just go ahead and get this one and you know to this day that is something that if you go to the louis vuitton like for example with the speedy you're going to debate between the 25 and the 30 because of that price difference not being so significant it's always in your mind it's better to get the big one right and so you probably will see that a lot of people would get the 35 size in this bd because of that fact but the 35 size in my opinion is too big for an everyday bag but coming back to the neverfull another great size is the gm now the gm size was not even in mind that was just so much bigger it was more like a beach bag against my body and mind you 
at the time. I was 19 and I was about between 118 and 120 pounds. So AGM size was gonna be huge and maybe I would consider it at some point in the future. But the PM against my body, it just seemed perfect. It seemed ideal. And even the MM size on me was still a little bit big, which is why I wanted the PM size. And also because I didn't really carry too much. And even now to this day, I probably don't carry too, too much either. But that's the bag that I wanted, but I ended up getting this one and I'm very happy that I did because at the time that I got this handbag, I was in university. So I used this from time to time as a school bag, not primarily my everyday school bag, just because whenever you do have a lot of things in this bag, it is heavy. The straps are thin and being in the Damir Ebin canvas, these are a little bit stiffer than in the monogram or the Damir Azor handles would be because that is untreated versus this leather, which does not only just have the color, but also a coating on top to protect it. With all of that, it does make the actual straps a little bit stiffer. And also, yes, long lasting, but I am gonna talk about that a little bit later on. Whenever you have added on a lot of weight to the bag, it does kind of dig into your shoulders and it does become uncomfortable. Whenever I did use this handbag, it was mainly whenever I had one or two classes or if it was like a more lecture style where you would listen and take notes, not so much having to have a textbook with you in class where either my books were online where I could easily open up everything that I needed from an iPad and I would carry my iPad in here with like a notebook, some pens, a water bottle, my phone, of course. And sometimes I would carry an umbrella. That's pretty much what I would carry in here whenever I did use it for school. So those were the only times that I would carry this and it was great. Most of the time I just carried everything in my backpack because it was more practical for me and not just for the use of carrying everything that I needed on a day-to-day -day basis, but also just because I didn't want to stress the limit for this handbag, especially being new to me at the time. Outside of school, this was pretty much my handbag that I was using. I did have other contemporary brands handbags, but this was the bag that I was fascinated over and the one that I was enjoying using, especially being new to my collection at the time. It's a luxury brand and I actually had a goal whenever I was much younger. I had told my mom that I really wanted a Louis Vuitton handbag and the bag that I was referring to at the time was actually the Speedy in the monogram, which is a bag that after 10 years of owning a Louis Vuitton piece or handbags from Louis Vuitton, it's a handbag that I have yet to acquire and add into my collection, but maybe sometime for the future. And I ended up getting this. So I was very happy about having the Neverfull as my very first Louis Vuitton and possibly my only Louis Vuitton bag that I did use it a lot. And one day I could remember clearly, I had gone into the bank. Again, like I mentioned, I was much smaller than I am today and I was obviously 10 years younger. So I guess little old me walks in into the bank with her big bag and I come up to the teller to deposit my check. I didn't get a, hey, how are you? Or hello, how can I help you? I didn't get any of that. The very first comments that came out of his mouth was, ah, that's such a big bag. And I, like as he said it, I was I was still in this motion of finishing taking it off my hand and placing it on the little counter. And I, I guess I did like a big circle to come around and take it off. And as I was digging in here to get my ID and everything else that I needed to, I was thinking like, oh my God, like, what do I say? Like, does he think I'm going to ask him to put all the money in the bag and run or, or what like what's going through his mind right but anyways i just grabbed my id and everything else and i said yeah it is a big bag and i slid the things in the little counter and i said this is what i need for today or whatever there was no other really exchange just like okay well here you go and that was pretty much it it was a very awkward experience but what i took from that is that i guess i needed to be mindful of where it is that i did take my handbag because yes it is a very large handbag and now thinking about it now he probably probably thought I had a weapon in here and or it could have been the fact that I I was young and I could have came across very like snobby or like rich kid kind of vibes I have no idea but it, it was a comment that to me it was interesting to hear that from someone who was a little bit older I don't know if it's the fact that it's a lot of money to put into a bag and I probably didn't spend it all myself so I don't know what it's like to earn and have money I don't know where the comment came from but I was very mindful about that and I started thinking well maybe I should be careful of where it is that I take my bag and I really thought hard about 
about it but i came to the conclusion that at first this was a gift it was a three-year dating anniversary gift from my now husband and that was that was nice it was sweet it was beautiful and i know how much he worked for to be able to get this for me that i wanted to make sure that whenever i did use this bag i was going to enjoy it and i was going to flaunt it obviously it's it's, it's not this big so flaunt it in a way that obviously you can see it not in like oh hey look at my bag not in that sense just in the sense that like i'm saying i was smaller so it was a big bag and there was no way of hiding it other than keeping it in my closet and never taking it out so i i was just like you know what i don't know if he was having a bad day or what was going on or maybe his girlfriend or wife wants this bag and she keeps talking about it and he's just fed up with it or i don't know but i say that all to say because yes there's a time and place for your luxury handbags but really and truly only you know how hard it was to save for that or to acquire that bag however which way either if it was through a gift through a bonus at your job or just hardcore savings whatever it was it took effort to be able to get this bag or whatever first louis vuitton bag is that you're trying to get and you should feel proud of the fact that you're able to achieve those goals and can give to yourself back through a purchase for me it was this for you it could be buying a diamond for you it could be you know saving up for a travel whatever it is but once you get there you are very happy and it's amazing that you've achieved it but let me just say if you are 19 or even if you're not or even if you're like around that same weight 120 115 118 whatever if you want the louis vuitton never pull, get it do it right people are always going to have comments don't let that deter you in any way at all now i will say i did have an internship and i got a comment the comment then was oh i also have nice handbags too but i don't want to bring them around here because there's people that talk that's a very valid comment because it is so true to the workplace if for some reason or another it, it's it's hard to capture that my financial struggles are not the next person's financial struggles my personal needs or wants are not the next person's personal needs or wants and one thing i would say is being so young and having a handbag like this especially at an internship it's it's a little bit iffy it's kind of like wearing luxury handbag to your job either way it's a very expensive bag and people sometimes do have various annotations with things like that but there's nothing we can do about it i still personally use this bag and especially when you're young that's whenever i find that you start your luxury handbag collection and that's probably the only time period in your life where you're going to be able to get as many in that time span and the reason for that is you grow up you get a bigger car payment you get a house you have taxes you have a child so now you have to pay for that delivery bill from the hospital or now you have you know insurance now you have other bills that you did not have whenever you were younger so i find that a lot of people who do buy these bags are probably younger and they keep that collection and then it kind of gets a little bit harder hopefully you are progressing financially as well to where you can still enjoy and spend in luxuries in a work setting it's a little bit intimidating to take the handbags and my internship was only three months and now the comment was at the tail end most of the time i was wearing a duty and burke bag or a kate spade bag which i'm very happy that i did because whenever i did get that comment i kind of thought well well gee whoo thankfully i didn't show this all the time right it was one of those eye openers and whenever i came to work to my full-time corporate job i did use my neverfull and i used other handbags as well i primarily stuck with the damir eben print because it's not out there the way the monogram is and yes you knew what this was and it was so popular everyone pretty much had a neverfull so at that point in time it was kind of like oh it's, it's another neverfull you know what i mean it, it kind of they must be giving them away because everyone in their mom's has one it was that kind of vibe so it didn't really felt like special the way it did whenever i first got this bag at 19 it, it was more like oh it's a little bit more common like it was kind of expected if you were gonna see a louis vuitton bag it was going to either be the neverfull or the speedy so it wasn't a big deal right so i did carry this um to my corporate job and as i did acquire more and more louis vuitton handbags i would take one here and there but really i did try to stick with taking just 
exist in Everfull. And now at about five years of owning the handbag, I did redo the handles. And pretty much after that, I really didn't use my Neverfull too, too much. And the reason for that was because it was brand new. So literally it looked like I had just gotten a brand new bag. So I did put it down to rest a little bit, but had I had this Neverfull in the monogram or even in the Damir Azor, I probably wouldn't. Well, maybe the Damir Azor would be just like the Damir Abin and would be comfortable with wearing it to the workplace, but definitely not the monogram because the monogram is a little bit more loud, whereas this is more subtle and probably a little bit more professional. Even like with the blazer that I'm wearing now, it's a brown bag, you know what I mean? So now I actually work from home and I have since the pandemic. Whenever I do go to the office and now, every now and then, I really do try to take my Kate Spade bags. Just remember that everyone is in a different position financially. And even though I'm telling you I have a corporate job, if I don't know how to value my dollar, I might as well be at a minimum wage job, right? So never compare yourself from that perspective because we each have our own worries, our own needs, our own ways of spending. The big lesson this bag has taught me is work hard and don't be ashamed to buy yourself something nice. This bag has been with me for 10 years. It has been with me through school, work. Again, I don't have kids, but if I did, I'm pretty sure this would be a mom life bag and it's gone with me traveling. Even 10 years later, I still use this bag. I was using it the other day. And let me tell you, I don't care that probably, I don't know, a thousand girls in like five mile radius from me own this bag. I don't care. Like I wear this bag and I love it. I really do enjoy it. I think it's a phenomenal bag. And you look at it now and honestly, it doesn't look like it's 10 years old. It doesn't, maybe six, maybe seven, but it's such a great bag. And whenever I did get it, it didn't come with the pouch. So I don't have a matching pouch for this bag. And at the time they didn't have the Rose Ballerine interior option. So I do have it in that luxury red which quite honestly i love this interior and i feel like it matches perfectly with the damir ebon so even if i did have the option i probably would still go with the red so i did mention i don't have the gm in my collection i don't know that i would get one i think that the neverfull is a good enough size and even if i had a gm to me the mm size i never really fill it up it makes sense that if i was to get a third neverfull because i do have another one already if i was to get a third neverfull the biggest size i would probably get is is the mm if i do venture into a gm it's just for the fact that i already do have two in the mm size it would just be nice to have a third in that bigger size but quite honestly this is good this fits comfortably under the seat in front of me in the airplane it's any big probably would not leave leg room for me and if it was bigger i don't know that it would fit if you do have a louis vuitton in the gm size let us know if that fits comfortably underneath the seat with this one i can put it in and i can put my feet on the sides with no problem even whenever i do have a row seat i just tuck the tassel in just to make sure that people are not stepping on it whenever they go to and from like the laboratory while we're up in the air and on that note yes it doesn't have a zipper but i've never had the case where my things have slipped off whenever i do use this i try to put either like a sweater or a scarf or something at the top to where things are not sliding off or i also just have everything so snug and compartmentalized into smaller bags to where I don't have like ear pods falling off or smaller items like that. So I've never had that experience. Whenever I did get this bag, yes, I had it once. I was at like a Walgreens. I was in the makeup section and I was going to go down to look at the bottom roll of makeup. Then I went like this and things started falling off. Now it was just such a quick instant. I didn't even think about it, but things did roll off my bag. And after that, I was kind of mindful about how how I maneuvered around whenever I was using the Neverfull and pretty much since I haven't had things fall off. Yes, whenever I have it in the car and I do like a fast turn or something that it slips and everything does come out, that does happen, but it's in the car. And of course, unless you're gonna put a seatbelt on your bag, it's probably gonna tip or move around. I do have plans of adding another Neverfull into my collection, but I want it to be in the PM size. The PM size is such a petite size to where it is another bag. There is a drastic difference 
between the PM, the MM, and even the GM. And I know the price variation is not too much, which is probably why people venture into the MM or the GM versus a PM. And probably the reason why they don't really make the PM and the monogram anymore, just because they're not really popular. I do want to add another Neverfull into my collection in the PM size. And I do have another Neverfull, which I'll bring. It's safe to say that I do like the Neverfull because I do have it in this fun game on variation. I recently unboxed this, so I'm going to link that down below if you're wondering um, what else I got because I did get another bandeau. And then this side, so beautiful with the colors that they chose. Even though it does have a heart, I don't mind it at all. It's still cute. I feel like this could be a great Valentine's bag to wear. And even with my outfit today, it's perfect. It's actually the bag that I am using. I do have my stuff in there. I do really love the Never Four, and I feel like it's a bag that if you're contemplating whether you want the Speedy and the Never Four for your first bag, obviously. I did get this one first, so I'm going to advocate for it first, but I do also own a Speedy and I do like this bag. This Speedy is one of my favorite bags, but I have it in the Bandolier version, which the Bandolier version compared to this one, they're not too much in price difference, but if you did have a cap budget, you're probably gonna get the Speedy just because it's like six, $700 difference between the Neverfull and the classic Speedy. Back then, that was not the case whatsoever. I think whenever I got my never full the speedy was like 750 780 so the price difference at that time it was not significant as at least not the way it is now but in a ways this bag I feel like it's fantastic especially because whenever you look at the speedy a lot of people say we'll just get the vandalier version because you have that strap option to make it a shoulder bag or you can use it as a top handle well this one already has that advantage where you can use this as a, as a top handle if you want it's gonna be a little bit awkward because it really does belong on your shoulder but you have that option and it's a shoulder bag right i do have a one-year review on this bag from nine years ago so if you want that perspective from the 20 21 year old mindsets go ahead and watch that video i'm gonna link it down below for you one of the features that this bag does have is that you can transform it into a different bag if you want to get the gm i think you can see the most difference on that whenever you cinch it in and not so much whenever you have the mm version and possibly not even the pm version it does have that option now i don't don't really cinch in my bag at all i have used it like that in the past i feel like this bag to me is much better just open one of the things about this bag whenever i do wear it is that whenever i have it in my shoulder i'm like pressing into the front flap like this just from having it over and using it like this like you see what I mean? So that happens and you probably will see a little bit more creasing there. And I know before I redid my leather, I did see creasing from that angle, but now it's fine. There's nothing wrong with my leather. I've had the new leather on for five years now and it looks fine. It actually looks better than the zero to five years before I did it. So the five to 10 years now, it actually looks better than whenever I first got the bag. Other than that, it's not a leather bag, but canvas is very hardy and I have not had any issues. I'm gonna go through and show you my corners. I'm also gonna show you the inside and I'm gonna show you my handles just so you can kind of get that out of the way to see, well, what does it look like now in 10 years? It looks great, let me just say. There is some wear on my bag, which I will show you, but at the same time, it's been 10 years.
at about five years of owning the handbag i did redo the handles on here because i had like a lot of cracking mind you it wasn't like cracking where my handles were going to snap no by no means i probably could have had them like that for a few more years but i wanted to go ahead and take the bag in and have it be redone so at five years of owning this bag it's whenever i took that initiative and got this done it was 460 or 480 dollars at the time to get done the two straps at the top this leather right here and then the tassels and even this i believe they changed this the actual leather pieces that are inside of the bag like where the little d-ring is at like this this is still original to the bag as well as the leather where the zipper's at that is original for the bag also original to the bag is still the canvas so for 10 years of owning this handbag the canvas is still in great condition and while it's not leather and a lot of people might say well that's very expensive for a non-leather handbag this is very very durable i kind of heard a rumor that it's even like fire resistant i have never given that a try i'm not planning to test to see if it is or if it isn't but i I do believe that it is very hardy and it does wear it quite nicely so in my opinion i do like canvas bags and i have zero complaints about my actual canvas you can't go wrong with the louis vuitton neverfull particularly in the mm size if you are looking at it at the pm size i do think you're going to be limited and if you are going to get it in the gm size you can probably get away with being able to use it every day for me personally i do think that it's too large of a bag to use on an everyday basis however the mm size is that perfect middle ground where like i said this can take you through many stages of your life for me right now this is a great everyday bag and it's a great travel bag i do work from home so i'm no longer going into the office but whenever i do go into the office i will take like a case spade tote bag something a little bit more relaxed and just like a solid tone color this is a phenomenal bag i would 100 recommend it i have had the same bag for the 10 years i haven't had to sell it and rebuy it I know some people with the other canvases like the uh, like the monogram or the azure they said they would sell it and rebuy it just because of like the patina or maybe the discoloration that might happen with the azure i haven't had that experience again this is the only bag that i have had for the 10 years and i do love it i do recommend going with itamir aben just because it's carefree and you don't have to worry about placing this anywhere or where it's going to end up at if it's going to be on the floor or you you know under the front seat in an airplane or wherever it's a great safe option if you are looking into the neverfull again a little bit of bias just because i do have this one i did show that i had my monogram which if for whatever reason this bag was to snap like if the handles were to snap i would 100 do it again however the canvas would need to be perfect currently it's still has a lot of life left in it but if the canvas was cracking or if there was more wear or like even if the textile was peeking through the corners in any way then i would probably consider buying the bag all over again but for the meantime if i do have to redo the handles i probably will for me personally this bag does stand the test of time and silhouettes and versatility and the wear of the bag so 10 out of 10 in my book if you do have any questions please let me know what that is down below if you have an experience you would like to share and let us all be aware of please do share if it's with the pm or even the gm please do share as well a lot of people would do like a one-year review or two-year review or a first impression on the handbag but not so much this length of time of owning a bag i don't really have a lot of cons to say i mean outside of the natural wear and tear of a tote bag period there is not a lot of cons that i can say about this bag the only thing would be the handles you can see the cracks and the creases much faster and you can also see the peeling and you can also it's stiffer so you can get those shoulder marks but really and truly it above all that it's a great bag and it's one that it's not going if you buy it today you're gonna at least have it for two years minimum i have found the value in owning a neverfull so i have had it for a long time and i do have a second and i would go for a third so personally i am a fan because it is canvas and it this one in particular is much stiffer i don't use a bag organizer however i am looking into getting bag organizers for all of my handbags just to have but really and truly for 10 years 
corners. I did not have one. It looks fine. Yes, the corners do look a little bit more like caved in. I'm not sure that that's something you can avoid even if you did have an organizer for 10 years. If you do own a Neverfull and you had a Neverfull for as long as I have as well as had a bag organizer with it pretty much the entire time, let us know how your structure looks. But really and truly, I feel like it's probably going to be right about the same. The base is where all of the weight does come into a bag. So it might be just normal. I don't mind it whatsoever. I love and enjoy this bag just as it is. And if you see me out and about, you're never going to guess if this is 10 years old. It doesn't show its age. This combination is that one combination that you can tell she did all that water for beauty because she looks like I got her in 2020. Doesn't look terrible. Let me know what your thoughts are and what your experience is. And most importantly, I do want to thank you for spending a little bit of your day with me and I hope to see you next time.